Hey everybody, it's Maggie Mulhern from Modern Salon TV. I am here at Diechi Womo, and we're gonna make sure I said that properly, in Livingston, New Jersey. It is a brand new salon, men's salon, opening on Tuesday. We're here on Thursday, so it's right around the corner. I am here with the owners and founders, Marie and Paul Gagliotti, a lovely couple who have uh, worked on this. It's been a labor of love from what I understand. We just did a tour. It's also in the body of this story. It is one of the most beautiful salons I've ever been to. We are right in the middle of the, between the hard hat tour and an opening day, so you guys are pretty, pretty much ready to go. Some last minute touches, but I wanna start with the whole beginning of the design because I know there was some drama, Paul. Originally, you weren't interested in doing this, correct? That's correct. You know, the, the building was a hair salon before us, and we took it and renovated the building 100%. And uh, in the early stages with the architect, Marie, I had said that she wanted to um, uh, make the building LEED certified, and I was against it, and I was against it. She's going to tell you a couple reasons why. Uh, mainly, I was against it because of cost. I was, I was like, this is going to cost three times the amount of money for us to get up. So Marie, along with my son-in-law, who she's going to talk about, took a class to be certified, uh, not to be certified, but in the certification of, of LEED. And um, she sat in a class for uh, about six months with um, a bunch of men in construction to learn about it. And, and the bottom line of the whole thing is the building is going to be the first LEED certified uh, salon in the state of New Jersey that we're aware of. And we're We've done some research on that. Uh, so here's my wife, Marie, who's going to give you a little background about the LEED. And I also want you to explain what LEED means. Okay. So LEED stands for Leadership in Energy and Environment Environmental Design. And it is a rating system that was formed in the 90s when people started to do construction and they said they're doing you know, green buildings. There really was no standard on, OK, so what is the standard for building a green building? So there was a committee formed, the U.S. Um, Green Council, and they have a rating system. And you have to follow certain points in five different categories. And um, we, on our website, I have all the details of all the things that we did here. Um, we took on many initiatives, and some of them, which are I can point out, um, we use no VOC paints or stains in the building, which stands for volatile organic compounds, which are the toxic fumes that you smell. Uh, all of our mill work has no urea formaldehyde, which is uh, carcinogenic. We chose to use recycled sheetrock, recycled steel. We have recycled countertops. We have the highest, um, highest efficiency uh, air conditioning and heating systems. So we did everything. Um, in every category that we felt we could handle, and we should be a, the, the rating system has a certified silver, gold, or platinum, and we will be silver. We actually had to hire a, a commissioning agent to monitor what we were doing in the building. It wasn't just that we did that, did those things that Marie was just saying. They, they were periodically being checked on to make sure air conditioning units had to come in 100% sealed so that uh, no dust, no dirt, any construction could not get into any of the vents. We just ran uh, for an extra couple points, five days of the building being closed with just the air conditioning units running for any, any fumes that could possibly be in this building or taken out before any of our flush out before any of our clientele comes into the building. And as, uh, as Paul pointed out, um, we live in an organic lifestyle, and we believe in that, and we're, I'm a big recycler. So when we bought this building, we f I said to Paul, let's do a building that's a green building. And as he said, he was concerned about the cost. And I said, how do you know it's going to be more expensive? So I did take a course. It was a college course over the summer. And my son-in-law, to be is a contractor. And I said, Dan, let's do it together. And Dan, our contractor and our son-in-law, to be uh, ran this entire job. So he monitored every aspect of the green process for us. Fortunately, we're in this finished building, but I just want you, we only have a minute left, so just fill us in on, this is th what the building looked like originally. It was a house, correct? It was a house built in 1928, and then in the 70s, two brothers purchased it and added on a front flat section, which was a salon, and it was a very successful salon for 30 years. We purchased the building from the brothers, and we demolished it, and this is the process. This is the beginning. This is the, f the front of the building. 
So you see there was a flat part added that they added that was their salon, but the house was still part of the structure. This was the back. Okay, this is the back during the process as we added on the second story. And you could see as we went along. And we actually built a rooftop terrace as well. Oh, yeah, we just checked that out. That's amazing. Well, you guys, thank you so much. This is really, really a beautiful, beautiful salon. Congratulations. Here we are in Livingston, New Jersey. I'm going to let you say it properly. Livingston, New Jersey. No, I know how to say that. <laughs> Diechi Womo. Diechi Womo. And it's going to be um, Tuesday, November... 11, 12, 13. 11, 12, 13. And, and hopefully Modern will be here um, to come in and... and congratulate you and all your clients and everyone again congratulations you. and make sure you check out the tour it's also in this post and it's wonderful thank you have thank a nice day okay we'll see you all right, all right bye, bye.